find the value of k, uh, which gives the quadratic equation the number of roots described. Yeah. So here you've got a quadratic equation, 4x squared plus k, k x plus 9 is equal to 0. And they are saying that I've got two roots. Okay. So how would you do this? So when you have, so let me talk about a determinant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So if you if you have a quadratic equation, one thing that you should know is there are three possible ways you can have roots. This is one possible way you, you can have a, a graph somewhat going like this. Okay. It can go also the other way around. So here there are two roots. So this means these are the two roots. So at this point, so this is say x1 and this is x2. At x1 and x2, the, the quadratic equation is going to be equal to 0. So I hope you know this formula. So if there are two roots, this implies your b squared minus 4ac, which is the determinant, is going to be greater than 0. It can be like this. This is only one situation. You can draw different types of situations. So here, the graph can go somewhat like this. Just touches the x-axis at a point. And here we say there is only one solution. So this is x1 is equal to x2. So there are two roots. You can say there are two roots, but they are repeated roots. So here you can say there are two roots. So when you've got two roots, b squared minus 4 is equal to 0. So here you can say one solution or one root. Or they can also say this is the same as a repeated root. This is repeated roots. And in that case, b squared minus 4 ac is equal to 0. And the last situ situation is when you have a parabola which does not touch the x-axis. Okay, so it could be somewhat like this. Okay, so here there is no solution. <clears throat> so here we can say no solution. And there is no solution. You can understand the pattern. I made a mistake here. This is equal to zero. B squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. And here b squared minus 4ac is equal is less than zero. So what are we saying here? This means there are two real roots, means the parabola is going to hit the x-axis at two different points. So here we can say, well, this implies b squared minus 4ac has to be greater than 0. So let's write what is a, what is b, and what is c. So well, we know a is, a is 4, b is k and c is 9. So let's use this formula. So this implies instead of b squared, I can say k squared minus 4 times a, which is 4 times 9, is greater than 0. So this implies, you can use a calculator, this implies k squared minus 144 is greater than 0. Now to find the value of, so here you can say k squared is greater than 144. So you can, now you need to find the values of k, which makes this k squared greater than 144. To understand this, it is better to understand it graphically. So let me first say, first write this as an, as an equation. So let's say k squared minus 144 is equal to zero. Let's graph this and then I'll explain the inequality. So here without the calculator you can say this is k minus 12 times k plus 12 is equal to zero. So the values of k which makes this equation equal to zero is plus negative 12 or plus 12. Okay so here <clears throat> If you want to show this graphically, what, what does this mean? So let me draw a graph. So we are focusing on the equation. We are looking at this. 
So if you want to just look at this equation, I can just look at this equation and say the y-intercept is going to be negative 144. This is not drawn to scale, so I can draw the graph like this. It's going to go like this. And this I know is going to be negative 12. This is plus 12. I'll show this on a graphic calculator. And this is, I know, is minus 144. This is minus 144. So now the question is, let's come back to this inequation. Okay, so let me explain the graph. So what is this graph telling me? The graph is telling me when k is equal to negative 12, when k is equal to plus or minus 12, this graph is telling me k squared minus 144 is going to be equal to 0. Okay, what does this part of the graph tell me? Okay, let me use a different color. This green part. This green part of the graph tells me how will I read the graph? I'll say when k is greater than negative 12, is greater than negative 12, or less than 12, k squared minus 144 is going to be less than 0. That means it's going to be negative. And what does this part tell me? This part of the graph tells me the positive part of the graph. So this is positive, this is positive, and this is negative. So the third situation is when k is either less than 12, less than, sorry, negative 12, or k is greater than 12. That means if you go to the left of negative 12 or to the right of 12, I can say k squared minus 144. I'll show this on a table form so that you understand, is going to be greater than zero. Okay, so this is your answer. K has to be either less than negative 12 or greater than 12. So let me explain this in a table form. Okay, so I need to see, go to table menu. And let's type in this equation, not this is not an inequation, so type in x squared minus 144. And let's set the range, say, from minus 15, minus 15 to plus 15, just to understand. Okay, so when it is minus 15, it is positive. Okay, when it is less than 12. Can you see, when it is less than negative 12, your y value is positive. When it's exactly negative 12 is 0. And between 0 and 12, it's going to be negative. Your y, you're looking at the y value. Your y value is negative. Keeps being negative till you become hit at 12. OK, so let me go back to, to 12. When it's 12, it's 0. And when it is about 12, it's positive. Okay, so if you go, let me again repeat. When it's less than 12, negative 12, so let's go backwards. When it's exactly negative 12, it is 0. If it is less than negative 12, it's going to be positive. Your y value is going to be positive. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. When x is less than negative 12 or greater than 12, it's going to be positive. Okay, so the answer for this is the values of k should be either k should be either greater than 12 if you want to write in as a one in, as a group or less than negative 12. This is your answer. You can write this answer like this, but if this is too confusing, this is the answer. 